All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about density and displacement. You probably had this conversation in science class a lot, and I know you probably already done it, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through it. Okay, but I'm just going to connect in the volume side of it for us. Mathematically, that's where it fits into, ge into geometry because we can calculate volume now. Okay, so as a quick reminder, displacement is the volume of liquid that is moved or changed um, because you added an irregular object to liquid. Right, so it's nice and neat to find the volume of a rectangular prism, but if you want to find the volume of a rock, not as easy, right? So in science, they use displacement a lot in order to find the volume of that irregular shaped object. All right, so that's what we're going to do as well. So here's an example. It says Mary puts water into a rectangular prism with a base that measures 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters. When a rock is dropped into the container, the water level rises to 2 centimeters. Find the volume of the rock. All right, so ultimately, we're really just finding the volume of a prism that represents the change in the water level, right? So I don't care how high the container is itself, I'm more interested in that water level changing by two centimeters. My container did not change either. It's still a 10 by 15. So because we have a prism, we know volume equals area of the base times height. So my volume in this case is going to be, I'm sorry, my base in this case is going to be 10 by 15. And then the height is 2. So what do we get for our volume? 300 cubic centimeters. Are we okay with that? All right, so the other part of this I wanted to highlight is density. So density is equivalent to mass over volume. Okay, so we're going to be calculating some of these. Again, we're bringing it in because of volume, and we just studied volume. All right, so here's an example. So the clump of metal with a mass of 351.4 grams is dropped into a cylindrical container, causing the water level to rise 1.1 centimeters. The radius of the base of the container is 3 centimeters, so we're going to find the density of the metal. Okay. So we have this cylinder, right? We know that the radius here is 3. We know whatever the water level was originally, it went up, I lost it, 1.1 centimeters. So formula-wise, density equals mass over volume. We're solving for density. The mass they gave us is 351.4 grams. Now we need to find the volume. So volume of the cylinder is carry the base times the height. So my base, my base is a circle, right? So pi r squared. So pi times my radius squared times the height, which is 1.1. So my volume gives me 3 squared is 9. 9 times 1.1 is 9.9 pi. So 9.9 pi um, cubic centimeters. All right, so now we just need to divide this out. Fair warning though, if you're going to type it into your calculator like that, make sure you put that 9.9 pi in parentheses. Otherwise, your calculator can't do 35 or 351 divided by 9.9, come up with that solution, and then multiply that times pi. But that's not what we really want, divided by pi. So we have 351 times 4 divided by 9.9 pi. Me 11.3 grams per cubic centimeters. Is that okay? 
Some of you are looking at me like you're confused. Are we okay or not? Yep. Can I change it out of this? Can I move back? All right. So on this one here, the displacement just moves the volume of that rock up higher. So this two centimeters then became the height of the volume of the water. So I'm just trying to figure out, if I'm trying to find the volume of that rock, I'm really trying to find what water was displaced. So the water level went from here, then it went up to here, which is the two centimeter height. Who asked me to go over that? Okay, so that's why my, my, my cylinder, or my, sorry, my prism itself is 10 by 15. The displacement, which is the volume of the rock, went up two centimeters. That's why I just wanted to find the volume of just this portion. I'm literally finding the volume of just this little piece right here. Did that answer your question? You sure? Okay. Now, a lot of times with density, people will throw in population density as well. Okay? So they call it population density, and they consider it density because of the word density. But population density wouldn't be mass over volume. Okay? But what they typically do especially standardized tests, which we're coming up to, if they wanted to do a population density, it would be like number of people per square mile. Right? So they would have like this answer blank, and they would put the label on there, people per square mile. So what would be your guess as to what would go in the numerator? People. What do you think would go in the denominator? Square miles. square miles, okay? So the same thing works with this kind of density when we're talking mass and volume. Mass is going to be typically like in grams, right? And then volume is typically like in cubic centimeters, cubic um, inches, cubic whatever. Okay, so if you're in doubt, think about your unit analysis. What would have to go in the numerator if I wanted there to be grams? What would have to go in the denominator if I wanted there to be cubic centimeters? Does that make sense? Okay. I originally put an assignment out in Delta Math, and um, they changed it since I assigned it. And so it doesn't really match as well. So what I ended up doing was I made a worksheet here. It's really out of your book. I just copied parts of it. There's a part on the front and a part on the back. I tried to leave you space so that you could do work on the front and on the back. So you don't have to have a whole new sheet of paper if you don't want to. So you do not have to do the Delta Math. We will be doing Delta Math tomorrow, though, okay? So make sure you have your Chromebooks ready to go tomorrow. Sorry for the last major change here. I was going to hand it off to you guys and do the other part. Okay, so on the front, there are three pretty straightforward volume density problems. On the back, on the back, four through seven, it says refer to the table on page 535. I put the table at the top there for you. Like I said, it's out of your book. Okay, make sense? Okay, if I can help you, please let me know. 